Pac-12 is willing to help UCLA pay for the buyout, the buyout to get out of the Big Ten deal, and would only cost $15 million, that number seems quite low to me. And also, if the UCLA goes back to the Pac-12, according to Billy Witz's article late last night in the New York Times, UCLA would be promised. They, they would be sweetened. The deal would be sweetened for them. They would make a little bit more money in the conference payouts going forward in the Pac-12, more than the 10 current Pac-12 schools, the other 10 current Pac-12 schools in San Diego State would be the 12th school. They'd be three different tiers of payouts. UCLA would be at the top. Would Oregon and Washington be okay with that? I don't think so. But let's do a deep dive into the article written by Billy Witz from the New York Times that broke late last night. Before we get to that article, please smash that like button if you like our content. Share the video with your family and friends. And please subscribe to our ever-growing channel. Let's not waste any more time. California Regents. According to the New York Times, article late last night, California Regents set December showdown for UCLA's Big Ten move. Again, by Billy Witz. He broke it last night. Some really good, interesting information in this article. We're not going to read the whole article. We know we covered this on a live show last night. The University of California Board of Regents met and they decided to kick the can down the road to December 14th. That's the new day, the new date that supposedly they're going to make their final decision on what they're going to do with UCLA. Either block their move to the Big Ten or penalize them, tax them every single year where the UCLA would have to give some of that money and bring it back to the University of California, Berkeley. Or do nothing at all. That's their options going into December 14th meeting. So we're not going to go through this whole article. But there is some new information in here from Billy Witz of the New York Times. We're going to skip the first couple paragraphs. Behind the scenes, there has been some maneuvering. The Regents, California Board of Regents, have expressed some disappointment that the Pac-12 conference is in negotiations for the television rights deal because there is no direct comparison against what UCLA has said will be their annual revenues of 60 to $7 million, that's just media money, under the Big Ten contract. The school has estimated it will spend an additional $10 million per year on travel new nutritional, academic, mental health services after switching conferences. And we've covered that on the live show last night and other episodes. So the regions have expressed some disappointment that the Pac-12 conference is in negotiations for a television rights deal because there's no direct comparison. What do they expect the Pac-12 to be doing right now? They need to get a new deal. They are in negotiations. And, for, and the University of California Board of Regents did George Klaikoff no favors yesterday by kicking the decision down the road on what they're going to do with UCLA. I just wanted to hit on that paragraph first. Here's some interesting information. Back to the article. But last month, the Pac-12 did provide to several regions a glimpse of what its deal, which, which it has been negotiating for months, might look like, might look like if UCLA decided to remain in the Pac-12, a range before $42 million and $47 million per school. Now, we don't know if that's media money, if that's just media money, or if that's media money plus uh, NCAA credits, bowl tie-in conference, football playoffs. I believe they're saying that this is just media money, so for now, we're going with that. They expect the Pac-12 schools to make between $42 million and $47 million per school, just the media money. In comparison, the Big 12 schools and their new contract are going to be making an average of $31.6 million per school. With UCLA getting a little more, back to the article, with UCLA getting a little more than the remaining 10 schools in the Pac-12, once Southern California leaves USC for the Big 10 in 2024, according to two people familiar with the discussions. The holdovers, those 10 other schools, 
in the Pac-12. The holdovers, in turn, would be getting a little bit more than San Diego State if it left the Mountain West to become Conference 12's team. So, the New York Times has sources that have spoken to them saying that if UCLA decided, I'll get to that in a second, if UCLA decided to stay in the Pac-12, they'd be making more than Oregon and Washington. It'd be UCLA, the other 10 Pac-12 schools, and then San Diego State, a three tiers, three different tiers of payment. There's no way Oregon and Washington would ever agree to that. And plus, let me get to this point. Back to the article. Last month, the Pac-12 provided to several regions a glimpse of what it's in the deal, which, had, which it has been negotiating for months, might look like if UCLA decided to remain. UCLA is not going to decide to remain in the Pac-12. The money is too much in the Big Ten. The exposure advantage is too much in the Big Ten, not just for the next six years, but well beyond the next six years. UCLA isn't going to remain to stay in the Pac-12. Either UCLA is going to be able to go to the Big Ten and pay some sort of tax back to University of California, Berkeley, or they're going to be blocked. Either way, those are the two options. It isn't like UCLA is going to look at the Pac-12's deal and go, hmm, boy, that looks pretty good. Maybe we'll just go back to the Pac-12. Oh, and by the way, Pac-12, can you pay our $15 million buyout? to get out of the deal with the Big Ten. So let's go to that. They're not going to do that. But let's go to that part of the article. This is a big surprise to me. The Pac-12's willingness to sweeten the offer for UCLA also included a willingness to pay the buyout the Los Angeles school would, fork, would have to fork over to break the Big Ten agreement. That buyout is $15 million, according to three people. Three people who spoke to the New York Times. That's the two big nuggets of information coming out of this article. One is that they, if UCLA would be blocked or taxed, let's not, they're not going to decide to remain the Pac-12, that they get blocked or taxed, or if they get blocked and they have to go back to the Pac-12, UCLA would get a, 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 a more money than Washington and Oregon. And then the big part of this article is the Pac-12's willingness to, to pay the buyout of UCLA $15 million. If that information is correct, that is a very low number. That's a very low number. If that is in the contract, I would love to see that contract in public. We're probably not going to see it. Let me read that again, because this is the big point of the whole article and of this episode 95. The Pac-12's willingness to sweeten the offer for UCLA also included a willingness to pay the buyout the Los Angeles school would have to fork over to break the Big Ten agreement. If that is true, then there is a pathway. There is seemingly a growing pathway for the Pac-12 their perception of things, to block UCLA for the uni for University of California Board of Regents to first block UCLA's move and then the Pac-12 to pay only $15 million? If there really is an agreement like that, then could Big Ten even sue the Pac-12 or the University Board of Regents, more likely? Could they even sue that Board of Regents? I mean... If there is an actual contract in place where it specifically says buy out $15 million to get out of this deal before you become a member of the Big Ten in 2024, let me make something very clear. Us at Peek Around the Corner believe still there's a very high chance UCLA will be a Big Ten member in 2024 and that they'll probably have to pay a yearly tax to the University of California, Berkeley which we find ridiculous, but we think that's the way it's going. But if there truly is a $15 million buyout, only $15 million buyout, and the, Pat, and the University of California Board of Regents has kicked this decision down the road until December 14th, more lawyers are getting involved, 
there seemingly is more of a growing chance where this thing could go in the other direction. Where you say would actually get blocked, Pac-12 will pay out, will pay the buyout. That $15 million, if that is truly written in the contract, and that's all it takes for USA for UCLA to break their deal with the Big Ten, and Big Ten would have no other comeback towards University of California Board of Regents or UCLA. Wow. That's very interesting information. Put down your comments down in the comment section below the video. I read them all. I'm very interested what you have to say. I think this is a big blockbuster type of information. $15 million is the buyout. That's it? And Big Ten would have no other recourse because that was the contract until UCLA becomes a Big Ten school. People talk about the grant of rights as UCLA signed the grant of rights. It doesn't look like it. And that grant of rights won't take effect anyways until August 1st or 2nd of 2024 when UCLA would release themselves from the Pac-12's current grant of rights. So I don't think that plays a part in this at all either. $15 million to break that agreement with the Big Ten. Pac-12 is willing to pay for it. University of California Board of Regents seems to, some of them seems to be willing to block UCLA's move. Wow. This story is not over yet. It continues on. Hopefully it gets decided in fact by December 14th. Stick with us here at Peak Around the Corner. $15 million? That's all it would take? Wow. Until next time, from all of us at Peak Around the Corner to all of you, please, you all take care of each other. Thank you so very much.